Shalom and welcome to PowerPoints. I'm continuing on with questions that I get as a rabbi uh, from people that will have questions like what's going on in their life. One of the things I want to, uh, to address with is people are very confused, people are anxious, and, uh, and people really are relatively fearful of, of what's coming in the future. But the thing you need to understand is the intensity in which God is dealing with you personally is preparing you for your future, not where you are. So the Lord is always doing a work for the future. The warfare from the enemy is always over where you're going. The enemy does not know, like, what you're going to do. The enemy cannot read the future. But when the enemy, see, when the enemy sees that the Lord is building godly, kingly, authoritative and uh, starts bringing influence. Let's say all of a sudden the favor of God is upon you. You may be pruned back, you're beat up, you're weak, but all of a sudden real powerful ministries and friends and business connections are being made. The enemy sees that. So the enemy tries to dissolve that relationship network before it has a chance to be built in strength, before there's prayer, before there's fasting and fellowship, vision casting. But at the same time, the Lord is so much smarter than the enemy, he knows those things are coming. So what happens is the Lord is dealing with the character issues in you and I, removing those areas where we would go to the right or the left, or we would, uh, you know, just any of those types of issues that only God knows because he's the high priest of our sanctuary. He's the bishop of our soul. He's cleaning us up so that we don't fail and fall tomorrow. And so that's why a lot of times what we do is we deal mentally with okay, this is happening to me today, God's speaking this today, and it's all about today. And the Lord's not about today, he's about tomorrow. He's dealing with where he's taking us tomorrow. So the pressure that you're under, the patience, the long-suffering, all the things you're going through are about the promotion that's coming tomorrow so that you don't lose the promotion tomorrow. And uh, so the Lord is, is doing that. The other thing is, is that spiritual warfare are not battles to be won by man spiritual warfare battles are won by god and god perfects man in the battle so there is a principle there and i'll talk to you more about that tomorrow so shalom and i'll see you tomorrow morning